viewers may remember that some years ago we paid a visit to Flight Camp, a company in Bend, Oregon that specializes in repair and restorations of vintage trailers. Well, we caught up with Justin Scribner, half of the Flight Camp crew, at the Rally on the River in Brownsville, Oregon. And Justin brought us up to speed a little bit on uh, what the company's been up to in the intervening years. Well, it's a darn shame that the good-looking half of this couple can't be here. Anna is elsewhere today. However, Justin, good to see you again. Nice to see you too. Thank you for having me. And uh, tell me, what's uh, what's been going on with Flight Camp? It's been a few years since we've been yeah. out to visit you guys, and uh, we see your name everywhere, and we see your show. Uh, so what's happening yeah, with you guys? Yeah, busy, these days? busy, busy. You know, um, we uh, we went from <laughs> visiting with you and being in a very small shop and and doing some spec trailers and a few customer renovations to kind of being a, you know, a, a, a big name in vintage travel trailer uh, restoration. And, you know, it wasn't something that I pushed for and intended, but it organically happened, which was great, you yeah. know. Mm -hmm. um, it's really nice to take something that you love and enjoy and have a passion for and turn it into your daily uh, living, which is awesome. Um, so Flight Camp has definitely expanded. We've moved shops at this point and we've grown and we've got some great craftsmen working down there, uh, just incredible workers. And um, you know, in the interim as well, we've also uh, gotten the privilege to share it with the public through a television show called Flippin' RVs that we yeah. had on Travel Channel. Yeah, we've seen that. Look, yeah. they, they do a great job as you guys do, of course. Yeah, well, I'm thank you there. very much, yeah. Um, one other thing that I wanted to mention too is about two years ago um, we came up with uh, an idea to to create an authentic vintage styled brand new travel trailer. Mm -hmm. We had seen a lot of repops out there and um, you know the craftsmanship we wanted to make sure was 100% in there and they were built just like they were in the 40s and 50s. Mm -hmm. So I decided to design my own my own trailer called the Neutron. So along with all of our restoration stuff that we do mm -hmm. and our museum pieces and the rarities um, we also do a, a brand new manufactured line called the Neutron and okay. the Neutron is a trailer that we make right there at the shop. So we have three to five restorations going and then typically we always have about three uh, Neutrons on the, on the line kind of coming off which is great. But the content is everything. Yeah. And yeah. you guys obviously have some content that is uh, um, ranges from really cool to mind-blowing. <laughs> well, I appreciate that. Speaking Thank you very of, much. Speaking of the mind-blowing aspect, uh, we can see this guy behind us. Yeah. Can you tell me just very briefly uh, sure. which one this is? Yeah, this is the Holiday House Geographic Model X, and this was made by the Harry and David Company. Um, actually, it was made by Holiday House, mm -hmm. but it was the, the, Harry? the Harry and David Fruit okay. you know, Basket Company. Uh, this was a concept that David Holmes came up with, and We've got one of two in fruition right here in wow. front of us, and it's, pretty, it's a pretty rare piece. So this trailer involved a lot more than we ever expected. Uh, we kind of thought that being a fiberglass shell, um, that it would be a little bit more preserved than wood, say, wood frame trailers, which we work with a lot of wood, wood inside trailers. But when we took the windows out on this one, the roof actually collapsed down on itself, which was pretty bad. Kind of scared everybody in the shop a little bit. Um, but in doing so, we decided to go ahead and structurally make it more sound, better than they did originally, and we doubled up on the, the strength on the sidewalls and also the thickness of the roof structure itself. At that point, we had an empty shell, and so we decided uh, on a floor plan, decided on a wood species, and went to town on it. So when we found the trailer, we didn't have anything to work off of on the inside. So I was referring back to black and white photos and stock photos of the one that went to Europe. And um, in that, we also were able to speak with the original designer, Chuck Pelly. Um, he was hired by David Holmes to come in and they set him up down in California to strictly develop this trailer. And he was invaluable in the process of redoing this. Um, so we were able to get his idea on what he really wanted it originally to look like. The other one that went to Europe, they were combining their original box design with this concept. And so some of the cabinetry didn't fit 100% like it should have, like his idea was. And so we got his idea on it and tried to kind of build the trailer that he originally wanted. The interior of this trailer is all black walnut. Um, the other one, they built all in teak. Now monetarily, right now, teak is a little prohibitive and so we went ahead and did black walnut throughout it. 
and we did stainless steel countertops. We kept the original uh, footprint of the trailer, but we built the upper cabinets and some of the layout a little bit more usable than uh, what it was originally in the, uh, in the two that were finished. So we, uh, we kind of just improved a little bit on the design and especially with the original um, designer helping us through the process, you know, I think it came out pretty spectacular. You know, that's kind of the fun in it. I always tell everybody, you know, every single one of them is, is individually different. If you go through this rally, there's so many different uh, brands and there's so many different takes on it, yeah. you know, that people mm -hmm. personalize them. They were made in a different year, a different era, a different feel. And that's what's fun about a, vin a vintage trailer. It's just like a vintage car. They have a life to it. And mm -hmm. if you can preserve that life and that history and give that to people to enjoy, then they're stepping into a feeling or a time. Mm -hmm. It's pretty amazing. Yeah, well, the, the work you guys do, you're certainly uh, setting the bar about as high as it can go. Oh, thank you and very it's, much. It's no, not, it's not unusual, not surprising, I guess. Well, the 24-month part is, but it's not surprising <laughs> yeah. to have the lead time because I know um, your reputation is preceding you. Well, thank you very much. So, uh, thank you. Yeah. Anyway, well, Justin, hey, thank, thank you for you your so time. Much. I really it. appreciate it. Glad to hear things are going well. Yeah, really good to see you and enjoy the rally. So you want to learn a little bit more about uh, uh, Flight Camp, log on to our website, rollingontv.com.